Hi guys, meet Luna, our new baby girl. I'm gonna show you and share with you how we train this little puppy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about how to potty train your puppies. So hopefully, maging helpful to dun sa mga nagpaplan pa lang kumuha ng dogs nila. Because mga first time puppy parents or dog parents. So ito yung mga notes ko. Um, or yung mga bibigay kong tips or advices based on experience and also some were based on mga readings online. You have to remember that puppies are like real babies. So, you have to be very gentle with them and kailangan ready talaga kayo to take that responsibility na maging mommy or maging parent ng isang fragile little thing. They will be very dependent on you sa in terms of feeding, in terms of taking care of them, or yun nga, most especially in terms of potty training them. Hindi naman nila automatically maiintindihan where you want them to pee or to poop. So before getting a puppy, be sure to search on the things that they will need. For example, yung bed nila should be comfy or sakto lang yung size. And then, yung food na bagay dun sa specific dog na yun, like if how many months old na ba siya, if old dog na ba siya, nung kapag kukunin nyo, or puppy pa lang. Meron kasing mga types of dog food that's suitable for each uh, type of dog, or depending on the age of your dog. Isa din sa mga dapat nyong kunin, if you wanna train your dog, is dapat meron kayong nakarating treats. It will help them remember what are the things that they need to do, or ano yung kailangan nilang gawin to please you. Be ready na mapuyat kasi when you have a new puppy at home, syempre, kailangan pa na adjustment period. Tansyahin nyo pa yung time kung kailan siya gigising, kung kailan siya kakain. So, it's very normal na mapuyat during the first few weeks or first few months. The first thing that you need to do or you need to remember once you get your puppy na sa bahay nyo at naredy nyo na yung mga gamit niya, you have to make your puppy feel comfortable in your new home. Syempre, if stranger ka, tas bago may bagong bahay, nalilipatan ka, di ba? You feel a bit uncomfortable or a little bit awkward. Make your puppy feel comfortable. Let him or her sniff around and be familiar with the place. Tapos, it's also advisable na huwag mo muna siyang itour sa buong bahay. One room at a time. Make her feel more familiar with one room muna before you uh, move on to another room. And it's also important to remember Kahit gano'ng kagalit or naiinag dun sa puppy mo, huwag mo siyang sisigawan. Kasi the first weeks, the first uh, 8 to 12 weeks is very crucial sa pag-create ng specific characteristic or character ng dog mo. So we want them to not have any trauma. Kailangan positive reinforcement lang or positive lang yung feel niya dun sa 8 to 12 weeks na yun. So, meron kasing iba na feeling nila the puppies will be more trained if takot yung puppy sa kanila. So, pag natakot na magalit, baka mas matitrain nila agad yung puppy. That's so wrong. It's not right. Kasi, um, positive re reinforcement is the best option. Um, ayaw mo matrauma sa'yo yung dog mo. Ayaw mo matrauma sa'yo yung puppy mo. And at the same time, syempre, gusto mo mag-create ng good relationship with your dog. Diba? Do not ever hit your dog. Do not scream at your dog. Um, do the reward system instead. Every time na may gagawin yung dog that will please you or yung gusto mong gawin niya, tama yung gagawin niya, bibigyan mo siya ng treat and ipipraise mo siya. Be generous when you, when you praise the dog and be generous when you give treats as long as nagagawa niya ng tama yung gusto mong gawin niya. Never punish because they never learn through punishment. They will learn through praise. So, as I've said, ayaw natin na namatutrauma siya because pwedeng dalhin niya yun until pagtanda ng dog. So I think kaya nagiging wild yung ibang dogs or kaya sila medyo galit agad sa tao. Maybe they experienced something bad when they were puppies. So when it comes to potty training, syempre, sa first few hours, first few minutes, hindi mo pa agad alam if magpipina ba siya or magpupup siya. So once you catch her doing it, habang ginagawa niya yun, do not shout, just calmly lift her up, carry her, and ilagay mo siya dun sa place that you want her to poop or pee for the rest of her life. Once na matapos siya, mag-pee or poop din sa area na yon, 
like I said, give her treats and praise her. It could also be helpful na habang ginagawa niya yung peeing and pooping, meron kang uh, command na sasabihin that will make her remember every time you say it like, pee poop or go potty, ganun. It's up to you. So, say the command before and after she does the deed. Give them a little space, but make sure that you're there for them. Huwag mo siyang iiwan dun sa labas kasi pwedeng matakot siya or hindi siya comfortable na wala siyang kasama. Tapos lalong hindi niya gawin. Yung dog namin kasi, si Luna, we got her last May 5. Exactly 2 months old siya nun. Yung sinerge namin na medyo challenging daw mag-train ng Maltese. But thanks to the experience we had with Chopper, kasi we first trained Chopper. Chopper's now 8 months. We first trained him when he was also around two to three months. That was um, the namin na kapag kami na experiment, and then na realize namin kung ano yung mga dapat and hindi dapat gawin. But Chopper is an extremely intelligent dog. It could be different sa iba ibang mga aso. Like example, ito si Luna. Medyo hindi siya sing fast learner ni Chopper, so it would require a lot of patience and time and effort to, to be able to train her. So we got Luna no May 5, and then no May 11, we saw her na kusa na siya mag-isa lumabas to poop. In terms of peeing, medyo we're still getting there, hindi pa siya fully trained, pero we're seeing progress when in terms of pooing. Kasi nga, um, chinachaga namin na every after meal, we take her outside and let her pee or poop. Tapos, hindi namin siya ipapasok sa loob unless tapos na siya mag-pee or mag-poop. So, kahit 30 minutes pa yan or 1 hour, chagain niya talaga before yun siya ipasok sa loob. Para maintindihan din niya na hindi siya makakapasok or hindi siya makakapag-play ulit unless nagawa na niya yung dapat niyang gawin, which is pee-poop. So, for them to remember that they're doing something good or they're doing something that you like, you have to give them rewards after they do it correctly. Mag-ready kayo ng cheat and then right after they do it, bigay niyo agad sa kanya. Puppies usually sleep um, a total of 18 hours a day, so they just wake up to either pee, poop, or if gutom sila. But once you see them awake, yung tatlong yun lang yung gusto nila gawin, pee, poop, or eat. If you need feeling mo kakakain lang niya, busog pa siya. And when she wakes up, take her na agad to the balcony or to the place na gusto niya siyang ipag poo or pee. And then wait for her to do it. There could be times na akala mo trained na siya na kaya na niya on her own but then parang magre-relapse or makakalimutan niya suddenly bigla siya magpipi or magpupoop sa living room or sa may bedroom. Okay lang yun. Don't be um, frustrated kasi kailang, ulit ulitin niyo lang and then sooner or later maaalala din naman niya yun. Just be patient and just continue the pattern which is um, observe if they're sleeping or if they're awake or parang restless siya. Take her to the balcony or to the place that where you want her to poop and then just say the command pee poop, pee poop and then after that, praise and give them a treat. So ulit ulit yung lang yung routine na yun. It would also be helpful or okay then kung meron siya specific time na kain siya para matansya niyo rin kung kailan siya most probably magpupo. One observation is that si Luna kasi May isang time na she just woke up from a nap. So, we took her outside. Tapos, ang tagal, ayaw niya talaga mag-pee or poop. Bakala namin, hindi niya gagawin yun. Pinapasok namin siya, and yung pagpasok niya, ginawa niya agad. Mag-pee. At tinakulit namin siya sa balcony, and then she stopped again. Ayaw na naman niya gawin. But when we took her inside, tinuloy niya ulit. I think it could be one of the possible reasons is that baka scared or anxious yung dog. That's why ayaw niya gawin yun outside. So that's why I emphasize ko na dapat hindi takot yung dog nyo if ipapagawa niyo sa kanya. Bye, crying. Say hi to Luna. Luna Baluna. Chopper. Hindi ko kaya. Hindi ko chopper. So if you're gonna take them outside, tapos ang tagal, na inip ka na, iwan, iiwan mo yung dog mo, it's a no-no. Don't ever leave them outside alone kasi iiyak yan, tapos lalong matatraumatize. Whenever you take her out, matatakot na siya, naiiwan mo siya. So just stay with her kahit kano pa katagal tiisin nyo. Pwedeng iba-iba yung reaction ng dogs dun sa training techniques nyo. But depende, you just have to observe kung ano yung pinakamas nag-work sa kanila. But I would suggest to do the reward system or the praising system. Positive reinforcement. Kasi kahit naman sa tao, diba, para mas nag-work yung uh, encouragement or giving out positive vibes or positive energy. Just to give you a little background, I have a total of four dogs. 
dalawang shih tzu na sa bahay, and then I have Chopper here and Luna sa condo. So, I used to have five dogs, pero namatay na recently yung isa kong senior dog, si Pochi. So, I have four na lang. That's why siguro medyo may experience na rin ako or may background na rin ako when it comes to puppies. Kasi lahat sila, nakuha ko sila when they were two to three months old pa lang. I know, pwedeng nakakapagod din and nakakawala ng gana mag-chaga to train puppies when they're so stubborn. But, worth it naman in the end if naging successful ka and if you try hard enough. Worth it lahat kasi like si Chopper, hindi na namin siya iniintindi. Binubuksan lang namin yung balcony and if magpupu siya or magpipi siya, siya na mag-isa, very independent na siya lalabas and then papasok sa loob. Pag nagubuto, so just yung itatap niya kami using his paws. So alam namin na either thirsty or hungry siya. Yan, parang hindi na siya alagain. I think the hard work really paid off then kapag train kay Chopper. So that's why with Luna, she's a bit more stubborn than Chopper, pero we're doing our best and talagang binibigay namin ng patience, time, effort, para masanay din siya. I hope this video helped you in terms of deciding if you're ready to get your new puppy or if you're ready to potty train your puppy. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions or comments, just let me know and I hope that you guys will be successful in training your own little dogs. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up or a like. So that's it for today. I hope you guys learned a lot and I hope na useful din tong naginawa kong video somehow. For all the dog lovers, for all the soon-to-be dog owners or dog parents. Bye!